like this video and subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Share this video. Subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends to subscribe to this ch channel. Subscribing to this channel is very, very free. families have accepted islam shows that some nigerian christians find it difficult to believe that leaders of the christian church can convert to islam with no strings attached <laughs> according to reports the above named new islam convert accepted islam at a conference hall of national mosque in abuja and are currently on a seven-day seminar where they are being educated on the basics of islam after they freely and willingly decided Islam is best for them. However, why Muslims have celebrated this news, some Christians believe there is something more it's more to it than is being said. On social media, Assam underscore the uh, underscore censor called it a survivor move. In his opinion, they either converted to feel safe or they converted to get appointment or contract from the government. Okay, uh, in another person's opinion, says they are lost souls looking for contracts in wrong places. No true believer of Christ will convert to Muslims. Well, uh, in my opinion, uh, that is what they have chosen to do. If really some people are thinking because of the appointment or whatever, or maybe they did that under duress or whatever, but the truth of the matter is that, or the question we need to ask that. Uh, were some people converted to Islam? Are they were they because now they are Muslims? Uh, were they pastors? Like you know, like we've re rightly heard, were they pastors? All of them, forty-two pastors. They didn't say forty-two Christians. Forty-two pastors and their families. So, forty-two pastors and their families. Maybe their families were not counted uh, with these forty-two because forty-two pastors separately. Did they, did they say? 42 Christians, 42 pastors and their families, you know, other uh, numbers will be joined with that 42. Maybe they will be going to 200 if they are going to be talking about the families or going to 100, as the case may be. They said they are uh, mostly, they were pastors. Well, that is their choice. It's a free word. They can, they can convert to whatever they want to convert to. That is my own opinion. Nobody is going to force anybody. They know the reason why they did that. Uh, of course, it's very, very difficult to believe that in the recent but if some people are, are thinking or they feel that they did it because of your appointments that means it happened well it can't be true even 42 ordinary christians cannot troop to islam less alone pastors what could possibly be the motivation even at the time that islam is crashing uh, fake news uh -huh. well wow you are correct i wonder oh, god bless you Anything can happen no, as far as Nigeria is concerned. Maybe they did it because of one reason or the other. It's not left for them. But all I know is that anything can happen. But ordinarily, uh, it's really unbelievable to hear such a thing. But you don't just, you can't just, times are changing and things are changing. People can do anything for anything. These pastors who converted to Islam were the proverbial seas who fell on top rock that germinates without deep roots. Hot sun came and get dried, get dried because they could not withstand the hot sun. No Christian who has got revelations from Jesus Christ can ever convert to any other religion. Is this a stage managed or make believe arrangement? There is no pastor in the abundant life of salvation who will decide to descend so low to switch into peaceless faith or man made faith religion. As far as I know, Islam. They can achieve anything in any way, crook or rough. This is the type of conversion done by Islamic terrorism, which an average Muslim has not stood against it publicly. Hmm. Absolutely fake. Uh, fake news from the pit of hell back to hellfire results to hellfire forever. Fake news. Can't you see majority of the audience are asleep showing boredom? They just want to copy Christians. Okay. They talk about fake news everywhere. So why is it, is this true? Where is it true? Why is this a true news? Secondly, how do we know they are pastors? Any sign 
on them or their clothing is that clothing ministerial attire of course because uh, they were being converted they have to dress in a muslim like if at all if at all it happened have you noticed that no christian is threatening to kill them they are only giving reasons why they did so and maybe pray for their souls but if the reverse happens you will hear of the threats of life that they were being converted <laughs> christians cannot do that that is not the teaching well if we're to the if we the opposite Muslims, you will uh, Muslim will hurt them to kill, stop religion. Noise doesn't work, but fat. Why some people are busy strategizing or making money on religious uh, religious places, others are busy preaching with no cobble. Businessmen, pastors looking for connection. Pastors really they have church. Hmm. Um, someone says here that. Uh, uh -huh. they can't they can never be pastor fake news christians will definitely call it fake news but it's reality my people uh if that's the reality i uh, wish them luck uh, good luck to them uh they've chosen where they want to belong to jesus promised us that they will have another another messiah coming to pull down uh john chapter 4 verse 16 they are not pastors at all Please, Muslims should understand that Jesus Christ is their creator and their savior. There is no other way to heaven than by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and savior. It is those people that have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and savior that we reign eternally in heaven. Not the churchgoers or pastors that have turned the church into money-making venture. Either you convert from Christian to Muslim or from Muslim to Christian. What matter is accepting Jesus Christ into your life? Okay, pastor and bishops of which churches? We need to know much which we need to know which church they are coming from. Is this a true so? If this is true, so that so that we can analyze and verify the truths or otherwise of the matter. Even ordinary non-Christian can't even be converted to Islam where thousands are denouncing every day across the globe not to talk of nigeria pastors okay we don't believe everything you see uh maybe they are on serious problem with the people around them so no sane person will just change from christianity to islam if not if not with the entire uh, interior motive or ulterior motive then do they don't mad say they don't mad it will be fake to them, but Islam will keep on growing. Mm. Very much congratulations for accepting accepting Islam. May God help you and protect you anywhere you go. Once again, congratulations. But just like somebody is saying, if it were to be all this, uh, whether, it's, uh, whether they are fanatics or Muslim, they would not be saying, oh, they are going to take their life. They will be threatening them. They will do this. They will do that. Christianity, you are free. You are free to serve any God that you want to serve. If that is what you what, what pleases you, even God Himself has said, choose you these days who you want to serve. But He tells you where to go. But if you choose the way you want to go, that means nobody. You are not going to blame every anybody for that. You have to blame yourself for that. But the opportunity has been given to you to choose where you want to believe uh, belong to. So that is just the way it is. But maybe as time as things begin to unfold, we begin to know the truth story of it because of course a lot of people are saying it's fake because in reality people have not really seen such a thing of course we have a pocket of people who say they are converting from christian to islam fine but go and check their background but for you to say 42 pastors and their families hmm. okay well, we shall see so so guys let's have your take in the comment section thank you